let's start out today with some decent news. Actually, I think this one is far too long. We've made too many videos talking about this A1 towing out in Memphis, Tennessee that's been towing over like 24 <laughs> trucks that have been documented that truck drivers have complained about i mean literally if you park for a second these people will put a boot will tell you and charge you thousands of dollars so the memphis uh, tennessee transportation commission has suspended the permits of the infamous a1s towing and hauling banning them from booting and towing rigs until after christmas it says the decision was reached at a hearing on wednesday november 29th and will remain in place until december 29th the action comes after nearly two dozen truckers and trucking companies submitted complaints so uh, there's your first uh, little bit of decent news for everybody that's traveling through tennessee you don't have to worry about this a1 towing until after christmas that is at least what's going on mother truckers uh, welcome to mother trucker news email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com just want to start this video by honestly apologizing for my future uploads. Uh, last year in December, uh, Jenna and I got married. And so we planned out uh, some days for, I guess, you know, a little honeymoon. We didn't do a wedding. Wanted to save money. Times were definitely hard. And so we just went to the courthouse. But with that said, uh, I'm out here in Japan and in Asia right now. You know, and so... I'm getting to all the emails and updates for you guys, and I'll continue to do that every time I have internet. And so if the upload schedules are a little bit off, I truly apologize. First thing that's going around right now is there's this truck right here that you can see that literally looks like it is cut in half. You know, uh, two drivers were in a, uh, a flatbed uh, carrying a cement. Look how big the cement piece is. And, you know, something happened. You know, they had to hit the brakes really hard. And because of that, the load shifted and just cut the semi truck in half. You know, I just want to show you guys this right here. You know, in a situation like this, it's hard to gauge what you can do. But when there's a big, massive cement block that you're securing and you have to hit the brakes hard, you know, is there truly any way that you can secure this that it wouldn't do something like this? But, you know, just want to put that out there because so many truck drivers were asking me to. Now, so many drivers were asking for an update about the high school band that got hit by a semi truck and basically the update has come out they're saying that the truck driver was driving too closely and started this whole chain reaction right um we had a mother trucker say not sure if you got the update but six people were dead three students one parent chaperone and two teachers and coaches man just super sad to see this you know and when we read into this, this is how regulated trucking is. I'm not making an excuse for this truck driver. I'm just saying they're looking back to his history, to his past. And when they see that he's had a similar violations of braking systems and being put out of service and getting fines for brake related situations, they're bringing this up in all of the news and information. Now, it's just not the driver. Of course, they're blaming the company. They're always going to go after the bigger fish. But yeah, I guess it came out. They're saying the truck driver was driving too closely. So it states here, a trucking company cited for defective brakes was involved in the recent bus crash that killed six people in Ohio earlier this month. So the first time we updated about this, uh, this crash happened on November 14th uh, near uh, Licking County, Ohio on Interstate 70. Uh, Ohio DPS released a report stating that the truck driver in the incident, Jacob McDonald, was responsible for the incident because he was following too closely in the moments before striking a car 
and colliding with a charter bus. So he didn't collide with the charter bus first. He collided with a car first, and then they went into the charter bus. So you can see images here about that, right? Documents show that the trucking company McDonald was driving for Mid-State Systems was flagged for brakes. Uh, issues in 2020, 2021, and 2023. Some of these issues even involve rigs driven by McDonald's. So if you hear that right there, you know, they make it like they're targeting just the truck driver himself. But, you know, they said some of them even involve rigs driven by McDonald's. So that means this is more of a company situation and the company's been flagged. And so they're taking down history of all of the break deficiencies that they had for mid-state systems and then they say issues even involve rigs driven by mcdonald you know so you know uh, there you have it i just want to give you guys that update so that you guys have it but yeah you know um truck driving is extremely regulated they will get you for everything they can get you for and if they don't they're going to get your company for it but in this situation that is exactly what they are saying and they are, yeah, I guess you guys are right. They're blaming the truck driver.